Hey guys, today I'm doing a playthrough of Legendary James Bond 007 and the one I've picked will be Goldfinger and the scheme, because you get two schemes for each one I've picked Operation Grand Slam so there's a little um, view of the board I'll get into more detail as I play so hopefully I'll not make any mistakes and with us having to use both hands I'll have to use a tripod so I'll try and get it in a good place so you can see I'll try to do it so it focuses on these two these two um, sections of the board because that's where the game plays okay I've um, got it set up so I'll um, tell you how the game plays while I'm playing it so when a card appears I'll tell you the, the um, special events on the card so first off you deal six cards one two three four five six so there are me six cards that I'll be playing then you fill Q branch this is the cards that you can buy so first card <laughs> straight away that's a bad card that goes next to Goldfinger and where you can see he's got a six there that's how many um, points you need to defeat him but every time you get one of these smuggle gold cards it goes up one so when it, when it was a six it's now a seven so that's a good start isn't it right what's the next one that's pretty good next one that's a good card That's a good one. Yep. And finally, this one. Right, so they're the five cards along the bottom that you can purchase. It has a number here. So if I wanted to buy this one, it would be three. Three coins. And let's see what the the villain deck has for us the first one's a henchman three to defeat and if I defeat him I get a bonus of one star that I can use to buy things that's if I defeat them that turn right then let's see what my hand is one two So you start off with power cards so I've got four coins I'll call them coins the, the what you use to purchase stuff and I've got two to fight with so that's four of them and two of them so I can't do anything with these two cards at the moment but with these four I can purchase a card that's worth four so I might as well get the one that's got a four on so that goes in my hand and then I replace it with a card I've replaced it with another one of those so it goes there that's the first turn over with quite fast isn't it right then Another six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. One left. What have I got? That's a good card. That's one of your starter special starter cards. You get a two to start with. And it has a, an event where you can draw an extra card. So, Right, so this adds up to four. That two and up two ones and 
three coins. Also I'll pick the extra card up. So I've got four coins and I've got four weapons. I'll have to move that one long one. And I've got this card. 22 to fight. Trouble with this is you can't fight her if there's a card next to her. Which there is. There's this one. So I've got to defeat this one before I can fight that one. Right then. So I've got four. What can I do? Well, the only thing I can do is defeat this one. By doing so, I get an extra coin. So I'll put that to one side. So now, instead of four, I've got five that I can buy something with. So I might as well get this one. It's five and it's got a, a three. So that's really good. That goes into my hand. Right, I've used all my cards. I'll just turn that one over. Right, cards, I'll shuffle them up again. And uh, I might get some of the cards that I've just bought. Move that one along one. Turn that one over. What's this one? This one has a little number in the corner. So if, if it escapes, that is if it goes off the, the board. Because I always go along one. This one escapes. The danger level goes up one. And if it ever goes up to five on this scenario, the villains win. Right then, what have I got? Oh, I've got a good hand this time. Right, I've only got two coins. They're not much good. But I've got three, four, five, six, seven, as well as draw a card. So I'll draw that card now. And I've got another one. So all together, I've got six, I've got eight, eight. So I'm definitely going to fight Goldfinger. See, here, if you remember, that increases his number by one, so it's seven to battle them. So I'm going to use three, four, five, six, seven. There's me seven to defeat them once. So every time you defeat Goldfinger, you have to defeat them four times. They're the four cards underneath Goldfinger. Every time you defeat them, you turn one over. So I've only got to defeat them three more times. And when you defeat them, you turn this over and it, and it has an effect. You draw two fewer cards at the end of the turn. So next time I draw my cards, for next turn it's four instead of six. Right, so that's him defeated. I can't do anything with that remaining one. And two, what can I do with that? I can buy this card and it has an effect. Look at the top card of the hero deck. You may put it to the bottom. So I'll get that and I'll fill up the space. Oh, that's a good one. Five. Fight. But it costs seven to buy. But it's a good one that one. Right, so that was a good round. So these two move along one. Ah, Master Strike. So this effect in this game, they have different effects in each scenario. In this one, you have to discard your most expensive card. Also, when you play in the solo game, when you draw an extra strike, you draw another card. 
So I've drawn 45 and it has an effect. It's got ambush. Each player gains a wound. Ambush means yeah, it happens straight away. So this goes into my hand. A wound card. Basically you can't do anything with a wound card. So it makes your hand power. That's all I've got three left. What I'm going to do is to get rid of my wound card. If you don't do anything, it says at the bottom, you can get rid of it out of your hand if you don't do anything. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll pass this turn and get rid of the wound card. So I couldn't do anything that turn, so these move along one. What's the next card? A scheme twist. In this scenario, scheme twists go under the Q branch card at the left. And where that sears a three, it now becomes a four. So they become more expensive to buy. And also in solo rules, when you get a, a scheme twist, you're allowed to change one of these cards for a new one. So I will do that. I'll um I'll swap this one, put it at the bottom of the pile and get a fresh one. Right so I've got four to fight with and three to use to spend. I'll use them four to defeat this card that's got a four on then I'll use this three to buy this one and then I'll put, put that on there right. right what have I got it's not a bad hand I've got three four five I've got six five I need seven to beat Goldfinger, so I'll defeat this one. Defeated. The three um, I'll not be using, so at least he's defeated though. And then the three I'll buy. I'll just buy this one. Fill it up with that. That's a good one. So some of them are, have a good battle number, but they're expensive. Okay, let's uh, do the next turn. Oh, that, that's a bad card. It's got chase on. So that means it moves an extra one every turn. So it starts there and it, it's got the chase ability. So it pushes cards passed her along. Three, four, five, six, right, the hand. I've only got um, four fight so I can't really do anything because that's five and her I can't defeat her because she's next to a card. So uh, them cards are useless and I've got three coins is there anything I can do with them? Really, I could buy this one. That's only two to buy, and it has an ability where you can look at the top card of the hero deck, and you may put it to the bottom. So I, I will. I'll buy that one. I'll replace it with another one of these. Right. So, the quick turns. Right. Well, that moves a long one because of that car ability. And oh, I don't like her. The reason is she fills up spaces. So when you draw her, because there's a space here, you have to add another card to it. Oh, up, up job. When he moves, you get a wound. So he hasn't moved yet. So they're all filled up now, all five. So I better defeat some of them. 
that one I get an extra card because it's got an ability to draw a card that means I've got five I've got six six fight and four coins so a six fight what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of ob job reason is when he moves I get a wound card no, I don't want that so I'm getting rid of him definitely and then I've got four four coins anything I can do there is actually right there's four there and I've also played a blue card and on this one it says it's six to to buy to get rid of but it also has a minus two if you've played a, a blue card that's what that little little blue thing there means hope you can see it so instead of six it's a four if you play a blue card which you have so I'll get rid of this card but also this card has an ability I just bought last round where you can look at the top card and if you don't like it you can put it to the bottom so I'll, I'll do that uh, should I keep it or put it to the bottom I'll keep it right that's that round over with that moves a long one and then you draw a card here this one, let's see it. But it, it's got minus two if you play a red card. So as you say, it gets a bit more difficult as you go on. And that balances out with the better cards that you have in your hand. So at this time I've got six red numbers and three yellow numbers. I'll defeat the car that's pushing cards along so that's defeated and then I've got three is there anything I can do I'll buy a money penny card they're available anytime then move along one this one that's got a three up there that if it escapes the danger level goes up three this can this can't be completed unless the mastermind has been defeated at least once and I have defeated them once so I could get rid of that card three red numbers and two three four five coin numbers so the three red numbers I can get rid of her, she's only three. And the five coin numbers. I'm gonna buy a good card. I'll I'll buy this one because he, he's got like three fight. Right, so and that's uh what I'll be putting in its place. It's not a bad card that because it can get rid of a wound in your hand. Do you think I'll win? <laughs> Three, four, five, six. What did the fake goal finger another three times? Right, this one. It's going to turn the coin that corner. I can only defeat this one with zero point cards. Right. Six battle numbers. Well, that's good. I can get rid of this one. That's only four. And I can get rid of her. Only two. So that's me six. That's there. Uh, played it out a bit. And then I've got four coins. Might as well get her. Pussy galore. Fill that Ooh, bad card that right so when goldfinger was seven to beat 
is now eight. See how he gets more powerful? When them cards get drawn, the six of them in, in, in the deck. So he could, if he gets all six, he could go right up to twelve. He's like easy to beat at the beginning and he, he gets slowly more harder. Right, move this along one. Where have I got? Master Strike card. So there's five of these all together. I've drawn the second one. So that's two cards in my hand. I have to get rid of this turn. I have to be my two highest value cards. That's both of them are five, so I can't use them. So what have I got? I've got three that I can't use. And I've got three coins. Is anything worth doing with that? Yeah, I might as well buy this one that can get rid of a wound. That one, that's a good one. I'm getting some good cards in Q branch, but they're expensive. Right, what's the next one? Ah, uh, another Master Strike. So that's the third of five. So I'm going to get rid of three cards in my hand. Three of the six. And two, uh, and then... One, so I'm only left with rubbish. One fight and two coins. I can't do anything. So that turn. Oh, hold on a second. After the master strike, they get another card straight away. That's a skin twist. So she was worth five. Now it's six to buy. And I can also exchange a card. I'll, I'll change this one and see what the top card is. It's that one. Right, so about halfway through, I think. Next card, <laughs> Scheme Twist. There's five of these, by the way. So this one goes under there. That's now five to buy. And I can exchange a card. I might as well exchange that one. Right, three, four, what, six coins, six coins, so which one should I buy? Right, I'm going to buy this one. Oh no, I'm not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this card here. It's here to get rid of, I've got six. But if you use a, a red card, which I am, it goes down two. So instead of eight, it's six. So I'll just get rid of that. That'll be my turn. Probably should have bought a card, but never mind. See what? Oops. Next is a henchman. Only four to beat. You get a an extra coin if you defeat them. Two, four. I've got six coins. I'm going to buy this one because it's a three. It's five and a scheme twist underneath, so it's six. So I can get that one. And that goes in its place. And the two I've got left I can't do anything with. Move along one. Another henchman. It's five to defeat that one. Oh, I've got a good hand this time. That one I get an extra card. So I've got two, four, six, seven, eight. Eight. So I'm definitely going to battle Goldfinger. I need eight to defeat him because he's he's got six and two of them, so that's eight. 
So that's the second time I've beaten them. So I turn one, the second of his four cards over. Ah, I hate this one. Next time I face the mastermind, that's Goldfinger, he has to be fought with coins instead of um, the red numbers. So instead of battling them properly, I've got to defeat them using the gold numbers. But at least uh, I bet them this time. So I've got three left. What can I do with them? I'll get a money penny card. It's worth three. Okay, guys, I've done me hand again. I've got me six cards. So a gold finger's been defeated two times. I've got to defeat them two more times. Move these along one. What have we got? This one's a, a nasty one. Seven to defeat. Three in the corner if he escapes. And what it says is underneath. If I don't defeat them this turn, then this card underneath them and all cards of that type are taken out of the game. So it'd be worth my while to defeat them this, this turn, see what I've got. Have I got enough to finish them off? Yeah, I do. I've got three, six. Seven, eight, I've got eight. So I could easily defeat him. Also, you see when there's two cards of the same and they've got this little insignia here. Don't know if you can say properly. If you do, if you can play them at the same time, you're also able to do this ability. And this says if I KO a card in my hand so it's out the game forever I get a plus two so I might as well do that so I'll KO this card it's one of the weakest cards so now where this was a six it becomes an eight that's eight so altogether I've got 10. So that's 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. So I'm going to get rid of him. So he's out. The other three I'll have to discard. And then I've also got this card. Which uh, also I can't use. So anyway at least I've got rid of that nasty card. <sighs> This one's a bad one. Yet to defeat, and at the end of each turn, I get a wound. So I'll have to try and defeat him as well. And it won't be this turn, I don't think. So I've got two reds and six yellow numbers. You know what? I'm going to buy buy this one for six because it's got a scheme twist underneath so it costs six to buy so I'll buy that put that on top of it so the move a long one I'll have to start knocking a few off Mr Ling costs four to defeat you see um, this is good, I've got all red ones. Unfortunately to defeat the mastermind, because of this card, I've got to defeat them using gold. So I'll just have to try my best. I get an extra card with that. Right, what have I got? I've got, got a good hand. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I've got eleven uh, points to use. Oh, 
I forgot to get a wound from last time because of this card. End of every turn I get a wound, but I'm going to defeat them this time, so that's it. The other three I'll have to lose. Move him along one. Getting towards the end, Master Strike. So that's now four. So I've got to get rid of four cards out of my hand. Two, four. They're the four I've got to get rid of. So I'm only left, left with two. And also mass strikes you continue. We another card so well. I can't do anything. This turn. These move along one. This guy escapes. So this is the third card, th first of the card that's escaped. It's got a two there. So the danger level moves up to two. I'll just See, started at zero, it's gone up two. So when it moves to how many is it? Five, I lose. So he's escaped. So escape villains go here. And also, I've got to KO a card of my choice. So I'll KO this one, that's out of the game. And then this. If I defeat this one, it goes into my hand. And I, every time I use a two, let's draw a card. It would be good if I could get that one. Three, six, seven, eight. I've got eight. I can do that ability again where I get an extra two. If I discard a card, which I will. I'll get rid of that one so it's now 10 all together with the, the extra 2 I've got 10 what can I get rid of this one and this one that's 10 so that goes into my hand on the top of the deck it says and if you get rid of this one you get an extra coin so coins, I've got three, so I've got four. Let's get a Miss Money Penny one. Because I've got to defeat the Mastermind using coins now. Getting towards the end of the game now. This is an interesting card. What you do is you put the highest value card, which is this one, underneath it. And if you defeat it, you get this card. Right, I've got this card. It says draw another card. Right. So I've got three, four, five. Six. I've got seven reds and, and four coins. So with seven reds, I can exactly defeat this one. That's just come out. So I'll get that card in my pile, as well as what can I do with these for, I'll just buy this one for three. Oh that's a good card that's come out. If I get it, you can either use seven coins or seven red ones. It's one of the best cards that. Right, getting towards the end, uh, scheme twist. Uh, so instead of seven, it's yet to buy now. And I can swap a card. I'll swap this one for that. That's another good card, getting good cards now. If you buy this one, it's there though, it's seven. Uh, you can draw another two cards. Right. Four reds and six coins. Four reds, I'll just defeat this guy. And six coins, what can I do? What I'll do is I'll buy two money pennies. Because I have to defeat them with coins now. 
So I want more cards with coins in my hands. Right. Nearly finished. Scheme twist. Goes under that one. And I can swap the card. I'll swap this one. Right. Oh, I've got all good ones now. Got a win card. Get an extra card with that. I've got five coins and five reds. So I'll get rid of this one. Gives us an extra coin. So I've now got two, three, four, five. I've got six coins. What can I do? I'll get two more money pennies. Because I've got to defeat them with coins. So I've got lots of cards with coins now. So I need six coin I need eight coins to defeat them. Oh, master strike. So that's all the master strikes. Five. Five cards. So I've got the discard. Five. I might as well discard all of them. And then that turns over as well. So that's that round done. Right. This is that's the final card. And if it moves off, uh, Goldfinger's won. What you can do is you can do four coins to move it back one. But every time you move it back one, you, you put a wound under it, and it means it goes up four each time. So it's four to stop it now. Six next, eight next, ten next, like that. So we're getting towards the final part now that moves along I'm not sure if I'll be able to win uh, they're useless because there's no one to defeat now so I've only got two four I've got five coins I'll just get another get another money penny Oh no, I won't. I'll I'll use four coins to move them back one, and I put a wound under them, so it, it's now six to push back. It's getting pretty tense now. That moves along one. Let's see. Come on, I want coins. No, I've got five coins that are. The red ones I don't use at the moment. I've got five coins, what can I do? See, it's six to move them back now. So all I can do is get another money penny card. Moves along. Right. It's getting really tense now. Yay! What I've got. Two, four, six, eight. That's all I need to defeat the Goldfinger for the third time. And I flip his third card over and it says, put each hero and cube branch to the bottom of the hero deck. So that just means all these good cards go to the bottom and I've got to re do them so there's a good chance that one of these say I knew that would happen so he's gone up another one so he's now nine to defeat I've only got to defeat him one more time well, at least this time I'm defeating him using the red numbers right so that goes along one Need nine nine red ones that one gives us a, another card what have I got I've got two four I've got seven ah, it's not enough is it I need nine last two four I've only got five of them yeah I'll not do anything right so that Oh, blast! 
you know what's happened that's moved along one this one's escaped but he's got a blooming four on so that means the danger level has to move up four one two three four so it's at six now and on this card it says if it goes to five Goldfinger's one so he's won so I didn't quite get enough to defeat them I defeated them three times there's these three cards that I defeated them but I had to defeat them another time so Goldfinger defeated James Bond <laughs> last there he is Goldfinger and he had them three cards so it would have cost nine to defeat them so anyway I lost almost won so I hope you enjoyed the playthrough that's James Bond 007 legendary and it's the Goldfinger scenario the Grand Slam scenario so I might do another one shortly there's a new um, expansion coming out it's based on The Spy Who Loved Me. That's one of my favourite Bond films. So I'm looking forward to that one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye. Bye.